Good evening. Thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the fifth day in the month of October 2022. I am Grace Dorcas Nukachi. First, the major headlines. On peaceful election, Abia CP meets with leadership of 18 political parties in the state. ABN TV director Ifanyo Kali visits Abia Lady, who gave birth to five second babies and others, supports families with cash. Protests against EFCC turns bloody as Nigerian police shot three protesters. Over 20 trucks burned. We'll take a We'll be right back with details and many more. Stay connected. It is being said that 70% of home buyers settle for their first home when they see it. Over time, we have created a wide range of happy customers by building the homes that suit their needs. Why settle for average when you can have a luxury home inside a gated estate in Lagos? Welcome to Kenzo Luxury Homes, a development by Kenzo Group of Companies Nigeria Limited. Our featured home is a gorgeous private home of five bedrooms with a room BQ located at a serene and beautiful environment at Lekki Palm City Estate, Aja Lekki, Lagos. Finely crafted and designed specifically to give you the luxury and comfort you deserve. Why make this your next home? The features include five bedrooms with a room BQ, spacious living room, all room ensuites, stunning master bedroom, modern fitted kitchen, serene neighborhood, carefully designed staircase, private swimming pool, detailed finishing and large compound space. This home sits on 500 square meters. The title is General C of O. Price 130 million Naira. For details and inspection, please call 0903-717-9034. Be a smart investor. Guarantee your family a secured future with Kenzo Luxury Homes. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermoto Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now, the details. A 24 year old final year student of Michael Okpara University of Agriculture, Moe Yu Olomachi Linda Wojo. On Tuesday, gave birth to quintuplets, a set of five babies at Federal Medical Center, Omaha, Abia State. The native of Amamba, Abriba, in Ohafia, local government area of Abia State, gave birth to three girls and two boys. Both mother and babies are in good health condition. The female babies came first, and she is the first to give birth to quintuplets in the facility in a long time, a nurse on duty told ABN TV. Abia State Commissioner of Police CP newly promoted to AIG Janet Agbede on Tuesday met with the leadership of 18 political parties in the state at officers' mess in Umahia to deliberate on efforts to ensure a peaceful election in 2023. The recently promoted CP told the political leaders that the development of the state is anchored on a peaceful environment, urging them to drive the message of non-violence to their followers and supporters. The director of ABN TV, Mr. Ifanyo Kali, on Tuesday visited the final year student of Michael Okpara University of, Af of Agriculture, Moegu, Mo Olomachi Linda Mojo, who gave birth to quintuplets, a set of five babies at Federal Medical Center, Omaha State. He had gone to identify with the family at their happy moment and exchange handshake with the new babies. At the visit, he also identified with all the nursing mothers at the facility, including two ladies who gave birth to twins within last week and yesterday. The APC candidate for Anutuku Hafia Federal Constituency of Abia State, High Chief Dan Okeke, has facilitated with teachers globally, particularly in Nigeria, extolling their contributions in building the society. He noted that education is a fundamental obligation of everyone which requires the support of the government, parents, teachers, students, and all stakeholders in the state. A clergy bishop, Silas A.K. of Kingly P. 
People's Assembly has applauded the senator representing Abia North Senatorial District, Senator Oji Uzokalu, for attracting over 63 roads in his constituency and other projects since he became a member of the Senate. The very cleric while commanding the Senate chief whip said, Abia North is lucky to have him as their senator. Governor Hopuzadi Mao of Imo State has approved free medical care for workers in the state workforce as part of his state social health insurance scheme. Uzadi Mao gave the approval at a town hall meeting he had with top management staff of the Imo Civil Service in Oweri on Tuesday. The governor said that the gesture was part of efforts to ensure that civil servants in the state remain, remained healthy and well positioned to carry out their duties. The Nigerian Union of Teachers, NUT, has called on state governors that owe teachers' salary arrears to use their remaining months in office to pay off their arrears. The call was made by the Union Secretary General, Dr. Mike A.K.N., and an interview with the news agency of Nigeria in Abuja ahead of World Teachers Day. The Nigerian Union of Teachers, NUT, has called on state governors that owe teachers' salary arrears to use their remaining months in office to pay off the arrears. The Independent National Electric Commission, INEC, has issued a warning regarding a fake recruitment website that is ongoing around on social media ahead of the general elections in 2023. This was announced by INEC last night via a post on its social media pages. Recall that the Electoral Commission had previously disclosed a hiring process for the ad hoc staff that will be used to conduct upcoming elections. Tuesday's protests embarked upon by youth against the operations of the Anti-Craft Agency Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, in Delta State, has turned violent and bloody. The protesters allege incessant harassment, molestation and arrest by officials of the Anti-Craft Agency. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has hinted on plans to deploy undercover agents to polling units for the 2023 general elections in a bid to cut down on the maniac of vote buying. The INEC Chairman on Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus Okoye, stated this in Abuja during a citizens' elections dialogue themed, What Makes a Good Election in Nigeria? Political leaders contribute to violence recorded on election days. Adams Oshomole, former national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC, has said. The former Edo State Governor spoke on Tuesday during the Citizens' Elections Dialogue hosted by Nyaga Africa and the United Nations Development Programme, UNDP, in partnership with Channels Television. The Apex Igbo Social Culture Organization, or Hanazin Debo, has stated that approximately 18 sitting governors support Labour Party presidential candidate Mr. Peter Obi. This information was provided to journalists on Wednesday in a statement from Hanazin Debo Worldwide Secretary General Mazi Okechuku Isibuzo. He said, apart from the unnamed governors, a number of the country's past leaders were also backing Obi's candidature. A man, Ike Chikupo, got knocked out after consuming metavitamin locally called Mpurumiri in Kubwa, a town in Bwari Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. Mpurumiri, coined from the Igbo language, is closely translated as seed of water, city of and crime guarded that the incident happened on Saturday on Arab Road in Kubwa. While on the foreign scene, a 32-year-old man identified as Toheb Salu, also known as Gente, was stabbed to death at a club by suspected courtes in Malaysia. According to HGS Media Plus, the incident happened on Sunday, October 2nd in Jalan Razik area of Kaula Rampol, Malaysia. It was also gathered that the disease confronted one Guru Emred Idurin, a suspected courtes and leader of I comfort comfortanity in Malaysia for allegedly slapping his pregnant wife, one Mrs. Tony, on her boat. While in sports, AC Milan star Rafael Lau says he's yet to be at the same level as the Man United duo of Marcus Rashford and Jordan Sancho. He made this known in response to former Italy star Cassano's comments 
who named the Man United pair, along with Liverpool's Luis Dez, as and Barcelona sensation and Sufati as superior players to Lau, and said that he doesn't make enough of a difference in games. This brings us to the end of the news at 8. But before we go, recap our major headlines. On peaceful election, RBCP meets with leadership of 18 political parties in the state. ABN TV director Ifani Okali visits Abia Lady who gave birth to five set of babies and others supports families with cash. Protests against the FCC turns bloody as Nigerians please shot three protesters over 20 truck bond. These and many more different platforms just log on to www.abntv.com.ng and you can also follow us on all social media platforms being displayed on your screen. I am Grace Stokers in the